and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time then welcome my name's Trina Louise and over here on this channel we do all things plus size fashion and beauty if you like the sound of that and you want to join my lovely family here on YouTube please do press the subscribe button and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to be notified of whenever I do upload which is all the time just press that little bell button and you'll get a little notification to say that I've uploaded so today I am doing one of my favorite videos to do and that is an ASOS haul I absolutely love ASOS I love making hauls for ASOS and you guys always love them as well so I'm really excited to be doing another one today it's been a good it's been a little while actually so I'm really excited to see what's new I have got a whole bunch of things for you today I've got jumpsuits I've got t-shirts I've got skirts I've got dresses obviously <laughs> and I have some swimwear now you might be thinking Trina it's September what do you need swimwear for we're in England there ain't no you, you're not you're not going to be going on the beach or anything it's getting cold basically I can't tell you too much just yet um, but I'll tell you more as soon as I can but I'm going on a really really exciting trip at the beginning of October I thought it was going to be postponed to next year because of Covid but it's actually ha I found out yesterday <laughs> like uh, nearly a month to the day uh, I found out yesterday that I'm going at the beginning of October um, I've never been had this much short notice for going away in my life so I need to get prepared. So I'm booked in for the hairdressers. Uh, I am starting my holiday shopping. So this haul was going to be like wintry, autumny, jumper dresses, that kind of thing. But I am going away and it's going to be 30 degrees heat. So I had to quickly change my plans. So long story short, I've got a couple of swimwear pieces to try as well. I'll probably try those at the end after I've done the clothes. So stick around to the end if you want to see the swimwear section. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about this trip and I can not wait to tell you more but I promise as soon as I've got the green light to let you know I will give you more information and I'll probably take you along with me if I can vlog I will do um if you'd want to see a get ready for holiday vlog with me like a packing vlog let me know because that's definitely something I could do so that is enough rambling if you're new here hello my introductions are always long <laughs> um but yeah why don't I just get on with what you are all here for and put some clothes on my body first dress and it's like a neon green black um like slip dress kind of thing with a spaghetti strap going on this is cute it's really different for me super super different but it's cute it's just hella short it is super super short and it's probably a little bit tighter than I would have wanted just around the stomach area um because when I sit down it's going to be quite clingy but if it was longer, I think this would be so cute. It wouldn't even need to be that much longer because it's obviously meant to be short, but this is just super short on me. Like I've got shorts on, but if I bent over, like you can see my butt. <laughs> um, but I love it. Like I like the way it fits on the neck, the way it kind of like hangs down a little bit. I love where it comes to on the back. I love the adjustable straps. I think it's super different for me, but for like, I don't know, going out dancing or something, this is really cute. It is a little bit baggy here, <laughs> um, which is funny, just a little bit baggy here. But yeah, it's cute. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I could take some great Instagram pictures in this. I saw, um, I placed this order like yesterday afternoon and then last night I watched Emma Tamsin Hill did a collusion, collusion? Is it collusion that do made this dress? Um, but anyway, she did a haul for them. I'm trying to look at the tag to see the name. Collusion, I think it is. Um, and she actually picked up a very similar dress, but in a lilac color. And I was like, oh, that is, <laughs> that is definitely my kind of color. But yeah, I don't think they go any higher than a 28, which this is otherwise. If they did it in a 30, I'd probably get it, but yeah really cute but just just a wee bit too short next up i've got this uh cow print polka dot uh, cow print dalmatian print onesie which kind of is super cute but also kind of feels like pajamas it's that kind of material that um i tend to associate with pajamas but it's cute it's kind of like a cropped trouser so it kind of comes down to there for me um let me show you the back i haven't buttoned the back up um but it is just a little 
bottom with a keyhole and it does have like a drawstring at the waist so you can cinch yourself in. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to be keeping this because I was scared for my life putting this on because I don't think they've really thought about how a plus size person with big hips and a big ass is going to get this on because this little hole <laughs> might not look little right now but when you try and squeeze your everything through it I honestly was scared for my life that I was going to rip it so the thought of having to do that multiple times a day to go to the bathroom is no <laughs> but it's kind of cute like I do feel like it's got pajama vibes like a onesie um, kind of thing but it's cute it is a bit it feels a bit warm the material isn't that thick but it is just like I said that kind of pajama material that makes it feel a bit warmer um the sleeves if I put this where it would be are a cute length they're kind of uh, a little bit up from the wrist yeah I part of me loves it <laughs> um it's not too clingy on the stomach area which I prefer for a sort of jumpsuit but yeah the practicalities of it come on <laughs> think about who you are making the clothes for like if it's for a plus size person you're gonna need to make it so that a plus size person can get in it <laughs> um but other than that I think very different for me again but super super cute just not practical at all <laughs> this is the next dress and it's this really pretty skater dress with some gorgeous uh, suns and stars on and this is super pretty obviously I would always prefer things to be a little bit longer on me but I am super tall I'm 5'9 5'10 and I have a long torso so things are always just a bit short on me but you know what this I don't mind I will look past it because this is really super cute and pretty and girly I love 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 this the material does feel a little bit strange it's like a little bit furry um I don't know if it tells me on the tag what it is oh this is in a 26 maybe they didn't have it in a 28 so yeah if I had it in a 28 it would probably be a little bit longer but to say this is a size smaller it is fitting wonderfully I forgot about that um so yeah the material is 95% polyester 5% elastin um if that helps so yeah it does have a little bit of a strange sort of fuzzy feeling to it but with some tights and boots I think in winter this is going to look really cute or you could wear it like I'm wearing it now for summer yeah I love this it's a little bit different it's not flowers <laughs> it's a different kind of pattern um but yeah I think this is super cute and definitely a winner for me so this next dress is a really pretty green coloured dress with white flowers on. Now I thought I was going to absolutely love this dress. It's a Daisy Street dress and I think I think this is in a 28. I'll just double check. Uh, yeah, this is in a 28. So I thought I was going to really love this but it just feels a bit frumpy and a bit shapeless. So the arms are elasticated but the elastic is too loose so it just <laughs> like my hands almost disappear. Um, it's a bit elasticated on the waist but I don't know it just feels a bit frumpy, a bit shapeless, a bit meh. Let me show you the back. So it does have a tie on the neck that you just tie up there so it has a little keyhole um, sort of bit on the back. Like, I love the colour of it and the pattern, but I just feel like it's a bit meh, it's a bit frumpy, we can do better. Um, yeah, I think this is like, it's not bad, but it's not good. It's just a bit meh. So <laughs> this isn't a winner for me, um, which is a shame because I'm trying to, I want a bit more green in, and blue in my wardrobe. Um, but yeah, this isn't the one. So next I picked this polka dot t-shirt and this midi length skirt. It comes up to here. We'll talk about the skirt first. Now I bought the skirt thinking it was going to be a more flowy kind of material but it's quite a thick heavy bouncy kind of material. Let me see if we've got some fabric information. It's 96% viscose and 4% elastic. Thin, elastiny, something like that. Um, so it's not exactly what I was looking for. I just wanted it to be a really like flowy, light kind of skirt that could be quite cute, like on the evening, 
on the beach somewhere in the world. Um, it does have pockets, which I appreciate, but it's just a bit too, like you can hear it, it's too heavy for what I was looking for. Um, so it is cute, it's just not exactly what I was looking for. We'll talk about the shirt next, t-shirt. I know I got this in a 30 because I wanted it to be oversized which it is, like t-shirts are normally quite clingy on me. Um, so this is quite nice and baggy on me. Um, it's got bigger polka dots on the sleeves, which is cool. Um, anyone who's been here for any amount of time knows I love, I love me a polka dot. Um, the material is a bit more of a sturdy t-shirt material. It is, I'm in and out of the tags all day today. It is 100% cotton, so yeah. It's nice. I think this tucked into the right skirt would be really cute. And because it's a bit thicker, I, c I would wear this in autumn um, to keep myself a bit warmer. The length is great. It comes just below where my stomach hangs to, or just sort of in line. So not perfect, but quite good. And if you <laughs> have watched any of my videos, you know that I struggle to get t-shirts that cover up my apron because I have a really long torso and my stomach hangs quite low. Um, so that is something that I struggle with, but you can see on the back how long it is. Like my bum is like, it's very much covering more than my bum, like you can see. So yeah, I'm glad I sized up in it. I think it's cute. So a no to the skirt, but the top is super cute. So next up, I've got another t-shirt and skirt combo going on. We'll talk about the skirt first. It's too short, like, you, it is barely covering up my butt. So <laughs> the skirt is no, but it's a sort of elasticated mini black skirt that is just way too mini for me because I'd like to have my skirts up a bit higher. Um, so yeah, the skirt is a no, <laughs> um, but let me pull out the top because this top it's cute. It is from Daisy Street. It is a gorgeous blue and it says positive vibes on it. It is gorgeous. It feels a bit like 70s to me. Um, lengthwise, my stomach sort of hangs to here, um, but I think I would wear this tucked into like a really cute skirt or something. Anyway, it's a good length on the back. This is, there's always a little threads on it, <laughs> but they all just come straight off. Um, this is in a 28. I would prefer it to be a tiny bit loose. No, I think because it's going to be tucked in, it's fine. Um, but it's not the loosest of fit, but it's not the tightest. <laughs> but I just think this is so cute and I love it. And yeah, definitely keeping the t-shirt, definitely not keeping the skirt. But yeah, how cute, how cute is this skirt? So the next item is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dress from New Look in this really pretty yellow. Now I saw this on Sophie Payne's Instagram and as soon as I saw it, I knew. I knew I needed it in my life. So when I was putting in my ASOS order and I saw that it was sold out in my size, honestly, I was so sad. But then I saw that magic little world that I've learned about recently. This is a smock dress. And I knew from my H&M video that I can downsize in smock dresses. So <laughs> long story short, I picked this up in a size 26. And guys, how stunning is this dress? This is from New Look. Um, I don't have much from New Look, so that's quite nice. It does have an elasticated arm with a little cute ruffle on the sleeve. Let me show you a bit closer up. My lights might be a bit too bright um, up close. Uh, it's about a midi length on me, so about to there, and it's gorgeous. <laughs> I feel like an Easter bunny or something in this dress. I love it so, so much. It's definitely not a dress for coming into <laughs> autumn, winter, but like I said, um, I am looking for things that can be worn on a beach in a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, so this could be really, really nice for the evening, like having a little cocktail, something like that. Although I'm getting, I'm optimistic because it's probably going to be about 30 degrees and I just collapse in heat. So probably, yeah, it might not work <laughs> in 30 degrees, but I'm the kind of person, I don't really stick to seasons with clothes. Like I would wear this in autumn and I'd wear it in winter and I'd wear it in spring, I'd wear it in summer, I'd wear it in the day, I'd wear it in the evening, I would wear it in my dreams. <laughs> Basically I love this dress. Um, so yeah definitely you can size down because I've still got quite a bit of room to play in this dress. Uh, so yeah 
if you want this dress I'd get it quickly because it is selling out but it's stunning 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 I love it can you tell I love it <laughs> so I've brought my brightness down a little bit because I realized in that yellow dress I think my brightness was just a tad too too much so sorry for that hopefully this is a little bit better it would not be an ASOS haul without a couple of dresses from my favourite brand. 10 points if you can guess what it is. <laughs> it is Wednesday's Girl. I have an unhealthy obsession with Wednesday's Girl and I buy at least two of their dresses every time I do an ASOS haul. Um, and this one is no different. This is a gorgeous blush pink wrap dress with some really pretty orange and green flowers on. It is an actual wrap, but it's one that um, buttons in place rather than, you know, having to tie the string all around, which is great. I love the sleeve detail. I just think it is so pretty. It's like elasticated and then it's got like a little fake bow I think like it's not a real tie bow oh hmm it's just a bit short isn't it oh it's um the usual problem I have it's a bit short and it is maybe a little bit too clingy on the stomach so when I sit down it's going to be a bit tight let me let's do the sit down test I think it's time for the sit down test I feel like we need some sit down test theme music but yeah let's do the sit down test bring out the old squeaky desk chair so oh the back is oh, there we go so oh actually you know what because it's a wrap it's not bad oh oh the boobs are coming out but <laughs> it's not any different to what's normally going on but yeah hmm it's not as tight when I'm sitting down as I thought it was. That's interesting. Wait one second and I'll be stood up again. So, hmm, I think this might be a winner. That This is the winning dress dance. <laughs> like, I always have my Dignity shorts on show. It's just something that happens. If I've got my legs out, you can see my Dignity shorts. Dresses are short and I am tall. But guys, have I even shown you the back? Have I even shown you? Oh, goodness. Oh, I love it. Tell me, guys, is this too short? Can I get away with it? Hmm, I love it. I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> um, the boobs are a little bit on show, as they are with all wrap dresses, but they're not, like, <laughs> falling out. <laughs> I don't know if that's... <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, but, yeah, oh, I'm excited. I think I love this one. You'll have to let me know if I can get away with the length. If I just don't like, if I like, don't like, you know, <laughs> stick my bum out too much. Um, you've seen too much of my bum in this video. Oh, then I should be okay. Cause yeah, I love this one. Tell me what you think below. So this is the second dress from Wednesday's Girl that I picked and it's this really pretty red dress with blue and white flowers on. I didn't notice the blue. That's really pretty. Hopefully you can see now that I've turned my lights down the colour of the blue coming through. It does have a high neck that's elasticated which I'm not a fan of high necks but it's actually quite loose so you can't feel it so much. And then it's got these frills on the arm. Z arms we have I have two arms anyway <laughs> oh and it has some really is it just on one side it has a really fun slit on the side now I think this is really cute but there's something I just don't know I don't know I'm stuck between loving this and just not being quite sure so I think I'm gonna need your assistance in the comments because part of me is obsessed and part of me thinks it's just a bit too clingy for my liking in this area. So do let me know down below what you think. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused with this one. Oh, can you please, right, please <laughs> vote down below. Do I keep the red dress or do I send the red dress back? Because I honestly... I could go either way and you guys usually help me figure this out when I'm a bit stuck and I'm a bit unsure because part of me is loving it. This material is kind of, it's got a little bit of that crinkle feel to it but it's quite light and airy which would be 
really nice on the beach with a cocktail in my hand, all three. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know down below because I could really be swayed either way. I'm doing a lot of dancing in this video. <laughs> so yeah, let me know down below what you think on this one. Ah. <laughs> so this last item is a surprise dress from Wednesday's Girl that I forgot I had. I thought I only had two, but I have three. Now I struggle, I love Wednesday's Girl, I absolutely love them, you know I do, but they're more straight fitting dresses I really struggle with. So this is meant to be a really cute strappy cami dress, but yeah, I can't get it even over my boobs, never mind, like over my stomach so it would have had a cute little slit and some buttons up the side but like oh, do you want to oh it does have a little zip but that's not going to help anyone um I can get it over my boobs there but if I yeah that's not gonna if I pull any harder it could rip because it is a very very thin material so if you are my shape you're going to need to size up one or two sizes in this dress, I would say, um, because it's just, I show you the truth, guys. I show you the good and I show you the bad, even if it's bad, <laughs> bad, even if it's my favorite brand of all time, I'm going to show you the truth. Um, but yeah, I think this would have been cute. Um, I think it was like midi length um, or just below money. But yeah, this one's not working, unfortunately. But now... We're going to move on to the swimwear section. <laughs> um, I've not tried on a swimming costume in quite a long time. I did a couple of swimwear hauls earlier in the year that were fun but disastrous. <laughs> um, and I've never tried ASOS swimwear before. So I've got a bikini and two swimming costumes to try. So let's see how that goes. But yeah, this is, in case I didn't say or you hadn't guessed, this is a no, unfortunately. <laughs> The first set is this red bikini um, top and pants. That's what a bikini is, obviously, Trina. <laughs> now, I picked this because I have trouble with bikini bottoms where, well, any swimwear where my stomach kind of hangs out the bottom, and I thought these little frill details here and here would help, which they do. And this is close, guys. This is close, but it's not quite there. I would have probably preferred just a little bit more height on the bottoms just to make me feel a little bit more secure because I need a, um, well I want a high waisted pant for a bikini. Um, you can see my knickers because <laughs> obviously hygiene I've got my knickers on. Um, yeah, I'd, if I could have them just that high that would be good. Um, there's a little bit of stomach hanging out, so not quite there, but almost. But the frill does help, and the frill also helps just to give me a little bit more coverage here. But the top is doing nothing for me. The top is too small, both of these are in a 28. Like, my boobs feel like they're gonna fall out. There's no support at all, because it's just a really thin kind of material, so it's not like supporting me in any way, um, which I guess this kind of top wouldn't but you'd maybe hope for a bit more material so I didn't risk like the, this which apparently means boobs falling out. Let me show you the back. I love the back of this top. Like it's got quite a good amount of length to it and then there's the little frilly bits at the bottom. So I like how we're looking from the back. We're just not quite there from the front, but we're almost there. But I think I'm gonna need to go for I might just size up in some pants next time I try just to give me a bit more material because they fit no problem but I just want a bit more material and I think I need a more structured bikini top um so I'm thinking I might try some swimwear from Simply Be um because I've heard good things and also I've heard good things about yours but I'm thinking Simply Be so let me know if you want me to do a little swimwear haul from Simply Be but yeah I'm not this isn't the one but we're close but I've got two swimming costumes to try now so we'll give those a go so this is the next swimming costume. This is in a 28 and it's just a really simple black swimming costume. Um, it does have a little like cross loop detailing in the strap. This is all right. It's just really average. Let me show you the back. The back's cute. I like how it is on the butt. This is good, but from the front, um, I think this V-neck kind of situation, this deep thing is doing nothing. It just kind of, flattens and pulls my boobs down quite a bit. I'm touching myself a lot in this video. <laughs> um, it does cover up my stomach just, but if I move, it's gonna kind of like slip out. And the other problem, let's get a bit TMI guys, because 
I have a chubby downstairs area. I'm a big girl, I'm chubby. <laughs> and so many swimming costumes don't have enough material on the downstairs area that I feel safely secure and covered. If I opened up my legs for you, which I'm not going to, don't worry, don't demonetize me YouTube please. <laughs> my legs are staying firmly shut. But if I was to be swimming and have my legs kicking around, you may see some things that you didn't expect to see. You weren't at the pool to see, it was a bit of a shock. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a bit of an issue that I have with a lot of swimming costumes is having enough material for the downstairs area and the stomach. So if you've got any recommendations for our chubby downstairs ladies, um, I would really appreciate it because it's a huge struggle and it makes me really self-conscious at the pool. Like I've always got my legs like crossed because no one needs to see an accidental slip of the, you know. Um, so yeah, this is fine. I just, yeah, it's not making me feel good. It's not making me feel great, but it's not making me feel awful. Um, but yeah, any tips you've got would be greatly appreciated. I know some people are gonna suggest swim dresses. And I did used to only wear swim dresses, but not because I wanted to, but because I felt uncomfortable wearing anything else. So I'm not personally looking for a swim dress. Um, no problem with them. I just want to find a swimming costume that I feel comfortable and good in. So any tips would be greatly appreciated, but I've got one more, so let's hope. So this is the last item and it's a sort of blue teal-y, animal print kind of swimming costume and I did get this in a 30 because I thought I've done a couple I did a 28 let's do a 30 let's just see if that helps but it doesn't this is actually a little bit tight on my stomach but then really <laughs> quite loose on the boob area and it just isn't doing anything for me there's no support on the boobs so they're just falling very very flat there's a bit of stomach that would be on show the bum it's a bit saggy because obviously I've sized up. Um, I like where it comes to on the back and I like that it's got a bit of a thicker strap so it's not cutting into me. But it's like really baggy here so sizing up isn't the one. <laughs> I just want a swimming costume that covers my downstairs area, covers my stomach and gives me a teeny bit of support in the boobs. That's it. That's all I want. So if you can tell me where to get that, please find, like, let me know. <laughs> um, so yeah, unfortunately I've not found any swimwear that works for me today, but keep an eye out. Well, let me know down below if you want to see a Simply Be um, swimwear haul, because I will do it if you want. I won't do it if you don't want. <laughs> um, but oh yeah, it does have a bit of a wrap sort of detail on it, but it's very much sewn in place. But it's kind of like, like the material has been pulled a bit so the under bit the white bit is kind of coming through there um so yeah can't recommend this one unfortunately if you've got a body like mine but it's cute it is cute but yeah still on the hunt for that perfect swimming costume so that is everything for today's haul. I have found a few pieces today that I am so excited about. That yellow dress is the thing of dreams. I cannot wait. I am so excited. I love, 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 love that first Wednesday's girl dress. Honestly, Wednesday's girl, please sponsor me. Like if we all shout it out into the universe, if I could ever work with Wednesday's girl, that would be a dream come true. If I could ever work with ASOS, oh, that would be a mind blowing dream come true. But let's just like project these messages into the universe and somehow they will hear. And the next thing you'll hear is that I'm working with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, seriously, that Wednesday's girl dress is an absolute dream. You'll have to let me know about the red one because I'm still like, mm, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, the swimwear didn't work out, unfortunately, but we were close with the red bikini so please do let me know your recommendations and let me know if you want me to do a simply be swimwear haul for you and a yours one i'm quite intrigued by your swimwear haul so let me know down below um and i will go off what your comments say so that is everything for today's video if you've liked what you've seen and you aren't already please do subscribe i'd love it if you wanted to join me over here i upload clothing hauls all the time and beauty related content and i'm doing a lot of vlogging um which i'm loving doing so yeah please do subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you next time thanks so much for watching bye Bye.